everybody. This has been a long time coming, let me tell ya. Last year, I made a video ranking all the Disney Renaissance songs, and I think that video was pretty good, and it really got me thinking about musical storytelling in general. Now, of course, Disney didn't stop making musicals after their hit streak in the 90s, oh no 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 no. The 2000s brought us two musicals, one of which I barely count. And the 2010s? Yeah, musicals were back, and, well, I was gonna say better than ever, but that would be a lie. Yeah, I'm, uh, much more fond of the style of music showcased throughout the Disney Renaissance films. They just feel much more timeless, where a lot of the modern Disney songs don't really hold up in quite the same ways. There is plenty of great stuff to talk about today, though, and, like, more than I thought, so let's trudge our way through the overwhelming midness that starts us off to get to some true great stuff. Oh, and by the way, minor difference between last video and this one. Yeah, we're counting everything except credit songs this time. If it's an original song in a Disney movie after the Disney Renaissance ended, it's on here. We have 80 songs to look at today. So without further ado, let's just get into it. And in last place, the worst Disney song, post-Disney Renaissance, and of all time, if I'm being honest, I'm a star. Wow. These are the worst lyrics in any Disney song ever. I'm a star. Watch out, world, here I are. The timing is atrocious, also. It's so, like, fake deep and repetitive. It sounds like a kid's Christian worship song that you'd hear at a VBS. But, like, at least those are typically made on tiny budgets for weird DVD sets and have, like, a specific purpose <laughs> this doesn't work as a musical number in a musical film from a prestigious film studio known for their excellent musicals there is nothing i like about this song at all besides the fact that harmonies as a concept are nice to listen to watch out world here i are fixer upper this song actively makes the movie worse just atrocious it completely ruins the serious moment that just like preceded it Okay, it doesn't ruin the moment. The moment's still good, but like, this is what immediately follows it, and it's just, uh, it, it's bad. I, I don't like it. It's a bad song, and also, no, just because everyone else says that Anna and Kristoff have chemistry and should obviously get together doesn't mean they actually have chemistry. Good lord, what is wrong with this couple? They don't or no way out from a Brother Bear. Um, you're gonna hear a lot about Brother Bear for like the next little bit, so bear with me here. Haha, <laughs> pun. Uh, this also actively makes the movie worse. It like breaks the emotional climax. This is the moment where Brother Bear is telling baby Brother Bear about like the, that time he killed his mom. But then this song is over it so we don't actually get to hear it. Like, we, does, does anyone like this movie? Is, is there anyone who actually, like, oh yeah, Brother Bear, that's my favorite. I, I'd love to talk, because I don't get it. <laughs> Welcome, also from Brother Bear. It's just like, it's so cheesy. And like, not in a charming way, it's just like, this is too much cheese for me. I, 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 when you have too much cheese, it overwhelms the other flavors. And, um, anyway, uh... We're so happy! You Ain't Home on the Range. Sounds like an opener to a Disney short film from the 80s, like one of those little, like, what are they called? The, the like, the Melody Time shorts? I think that's what they were called, something like that. It sounds like one of those. I've never actually watched Home on the Range. I was shocked to find that I have to count multiple songs from it. So, yeah, it's... It, it, it's just, I, I have nothing to say. Oh, this is the thanks I get. As a Disney villain song enjoyer, man, um, yeah, I actually like a lot of aspects of the song. Like, I kind of like how upbeat it is. It fits Magnifico as a character. It feeds into the self-obsession he has. It's pretty, it's pretty good. It's, it's cool. He thinks he's hot stuff. The issue is the lyrics. Speak the name, I'm magnificent. I clean up all your messes, and I'm always there when you need to vent. Yeah, I got these jeans from outer space. Atrocious. Like, so bad. Stop with the modern lingo in a fantasy setting, I beg of you. Also, yeah, once he busts out the scary book, I, like, I, I really wish the tone got darker. Like, it does, but it's so slight that, like, it's it's barely noticeable. Yeah, man, the flaws, like, they just really outweigh the one positive. Also, it's forgettable. It's catchy, but as a return to Disney villain songs, man, not great. But, like, to be fair, I think everyone and their mother has talked about why this song sucks, so... I'm not gonna bother. <laughs> 
Very important thing to do. So short, but like, it's such a nice vibe, honestly. Feels like it's from a much older film. I like it. Feels like it's from the original Winnie the Pooh. But it's like, it's like so short. I'm just like, there's not, there's not much to talk about. Transformation. This barely counts, but I guess it technically does. So sure, it's, it's a chorus. It's a bunch of chanting. It sounds really cool. It's very pretty, but like, it's not a, <laughs> it's not a song, so I don't. I don't know how to rank this. <laughs> the Baxen song. I mean, it is a proper musical number, but it's also like really forgettable and like kind of disorganized and not great. I don't know. Nice harmonies. Tom Kenny plays Rabbit. That's so neat. I, di I didn't know that. Cool. I want to rewatch this movie now. Try Everything from Zootopia. I mean, it, it works for the movie, but like, my lord, it is so generic and uninspired and like, I just don't like it at all. I'm sorry, the hot gazelle from Zootopia, you deserve better. On My Way, best song of the film, Brother Bear, but like, come on, it's so nothing. It, it's a, it, it's like, a, it's like, it's like pleasant, but like, it's, it, there's just nothing to, I don't, Phil Collins, man, you did so good for Tarzan. What happened? <laughs> The Tummy Song. I am genuinely asking whose idea this was. I saw this in the theaters as a wee baby, and I have zero recollection of this. Wait, 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 why? Who did this? Knowing what I know now. God, it's so close to being good. The chorus part is great, but like the rest of the song suffers the same problems as the rest of the movie. It has really odd vocalizations and bad lyrics and butchered timing and it's, it's not good, and I wish it was good, and it makes me upset. However, worth mentioning, the song gets like 50 bonus points, because the best part of the entire movie, the best moment in the entire movie, is in the song. It's when the queen walks in, and you think they're screwed for a second, and then she joins in the song and joins them. That is such a great moment. It's like, the, the song is still like mid and not very good, but that moment is fantastic. It's like, come on. This Wish. The tune is decent, but my gosh, the lyrics, they're not... I'm a star bad, but like, they're still bad. Metaphors that don't add up, just reel off. I will die on the hill that this movie being mid is the greatest disappointment in history. I would have genuinely preferred something embarrassingly awful rather than just competent enough to be unmemorable. It's annoying, but again, I won't dwell on these songs too much because everyone else already has, so let's move on. The next right thing. I genuinely forgot there was a song in this movie after Show Yourself. I genuinely think it might be the single most mid song Disney has ever released. Simplistic lyrics, some very pretty Kristen Bell vocals, but that's like kind of it. It's way too long for what it is. It's kind of boring? Yeah? Anyway, uh, spoiler alert in advance, I'm not overly fond of the Frozens. Pooh's finale. Why does the opening to this song sound like the metal ceremony at the end of A New Hope? It's kind of good though, just short. It's like, it's like a sweet little wrap-up moment for the movie, yeah. It's gonna be great. Tigger gets so determined during the song, and it's like kind of funny and charming. Otherwise, I'm forgetting it as I speak, but like, I remember I felt joy. So, there you go. <laughs> this Wish Reprise. Yep, it is that much higher because it comes at a much more dramatic point in the story and gosh, I wish this song and this movie was better. I can so clearly see the version of this movie that's great. It has all the pieces. It's so annoying. Oh my lord. Anyway, yeah, let's move on. Okay, here we go. Let it go. I just like, okay, listen, I can't judge it. Like, it, it, it's sound is so played out to me. I, j I can't listen to it and think anything besides, I have heard this 800 times and want to listen to literally anything else. It's probably good, honestly. I j I can't stand it though. Like, it, it, it's the overexposure genuinely has killed the song for me. We'll get to another song that's kind of like that, but not to the same extent. But like, just, yeah, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I hate it. I hate it so much. I can't judge it rationally. Let's move on. Do you want to build a snowman? When will my life begin reprise? It's kind of like one jump reprise from Aladdin, if you remember me talking about it. Though I do like it a little more than that one. That's all I have to say, though. Sorry. Welcome to Rosa's. Decent energy, and the lyrics are, you know, wish lyrics. You know, they have weird rhymes and poorly paced moments, but I don't know. I kind of like it. It's a cozy opener. Yeah, second best wish song at 59th place. That's embarrassing. It's it's kind of fun. It's still mid, but, like, what are you going to do? It's wish. Going all the way down is the one song from this movie I just 
just don't really care for. It's not bad, just not memorable. Fine enough. This is one of the best Disney soundtracks ever. I can't wait to talk about the rest of these songs. Oh my gosh, hee <laughs> hee. Immortals from Big Hero 6. It's, uh, it's kind of funny to me. It's so intense. Woo! The coolest, sickest song ever! Let's go! Yeah! Anyway, it's it's not bad. It's like, it's like decent. Yeah, it's, 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 it's just kind of funny how, how over the top it is. <laughs> Reindeers are better than people. It's cute. I kind of wish it was longer. Not gonna lie. I really wish it was longer. Yeah. Mother knows best reprise. It's more sinister, but also a lot less memorable. Her vocals are a bit weak. She's kind of just, kind of just talking. Love the part where the music goes super sinister, though. That's a good moment. Uh, still just kind of whatevs. There are the clades. The cheesy energy here is delightful. Too bad this movie is lame. This song is legitimately the only thing I have any positive memory of. Well, okay, the mom was was hot. I'll, gi I'll give the movie that, too. Love is an open door. Neat that it's kind of manipulative, like Hans is the bad guy, and I don't know, it's whatever. I just don't care about these songs very much. I, I have nothing to say. Also, no, this does not count as a love song, because Hans is evil. He is manipulating it. This is not a romance song. Boo! Barkin' at the moon. It's kind of nostalgic to me, but it's such a generic song, and I do not care for it without the nostalgia factor. But, like, it does have a weirdly nostalgic place in my heart. I don't even like Bolt. Like, I don't know why I, I, I have such nostalgia for this song specifically, but, like, it, it's there. Sure. How far I'll go reprise that vocal flex, though! hey <laughs> Short, but effective. Good job. Okay, um, there's a lot of songs in this movie that I, uh, I, I, I don't, the, the, like, sorry, this, uh, just, like, in this video, there's gonna be a lot of songs that I don't know how to pronounce, so, um, we're just gonna improvise, uh, the, okay, so, you see the corner? That's the name of the song. There you go. Uh, yo, good montage number, though I'd never remember this without the scene surrounding it, but, like, pretty good. Yep, cool. Show yourself, it's decent, but I really hate the story beats surrounding it, and also it really overrides on some admittedly impressive lyricless vocalization parts near the end, but this is fine. Uh, there's so many mid-songs in this movie, jeez. But it does have some ones I like, we'll get there. All of you, it is a really darn shame that I don't like the ending song of this movie much. It kind of sounds like a My Little Pony song. There's that one where they're like, they're like building the barn, it's like that. If I liked this song, it'd be a 10 out of 10 movie. Sort of charming, I like the Frozen reference, it's cute. Also, quite a few times where they kind of just sing dialogue with really weak rhymes. I don't know, I don't care for it. Bonus points for how based Mariano is, he's my favorite character. I just have so much love inside. Uh, th I'm just gonna use the other, like, so, uh, th we got... Yeah, that, which I am not gonna try to pronounce, and an innocent warrior. They really do flow into one another, so I just kind of lumped them together. Very atmospheric and unique for an opener. Sets the tone flawlessly. I like it a lot. Oh my god, another one. Um, this one, uh, this, 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 this is really cute. Uh, there's nothing wrong with it. It really sticks in my head for some reason. It's, yeah, this, this is a good, good opener. Yeah, cool. All is found. Kind of like a worse version of the song from Song of the Sea. It reminds me of it for some reason. Weird, because I just re-listened to it, and they have... Nothing in common. It's fine though. Not much else to say. Cool. First time in forever. This movie really did mark a change in Disney soundtracks. The song is not bad, but there's something about the vibes that are just off. This goes for most of the Frozen songs. It kind of sounds like soulless, generic. Maybe it's just because I've heard all these songs a million times thanks to the Frozen overexposure. I don't know what it is, but yeah. Into the Unknown. Okay, this song is a fine I want song for Elsa. Better than Let It Go, even. I got beef, though. My beef is personal. It caused everyone I've tried to explain Over the Garden Wall to to get the main song and best episode of that show confused with this mid-Disney song. Okay, it's fine. It's not that bad. I'm not mad. I I'm not mad. I'm a little mad. <laughs> Frozen Heart. It's a sick opener, but like, that's it. I know a lot of people don't care for it. It's my personal favorite part of the movie, besides one scene we will get to a little later that I forgot about. <laughs> but anyway, um, yeah. It's pretty good. I like it. A Place Called Slaughter Race. It's not too bad, honestly. It feels weird that a parody song making fun of Disney tropes counts on this list, but like, for a parody, it's clear they put their all into it. It's pretty fun. I actually kinda like it. Which I was not expecting, because I remember cringing so hard at this the first time I watched the movie. 
but just listening to the song on its own, not terrible. Everything is honey. Okay, I kind of like it. I'm not gonna lie. It's it's zany and weird, but I kind of I kind of love it for that. It's it's kind of great actually. Hold on. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we're going up now. This is this is where like the songs start getting good. From here on out, they're all good. So we're past the uh, 17 minutes worth of mid. Oops. <laughs> Yodel, adel, leedle, idle, odel. Basically that one Doofenshmirtz song, but like played straight. It's kind of fire, honestly. I actually love it. Mother Knows Best. Not even close to the best Disney villain song, but like, wowee, it's pretty fun. Love that it's guilt tripping. Like that's the main theme of the song. It's super distinct from the other ones. I hate this woman with a burning passion. I like it a lot more than I thought I would. First time in forever reprise. I forgot that this is actually good, probably the best scene in the movie and a super impactful moment in the song, like it just makes the moment better like it's supposed to. Love it, honestly, like genuinely. This is like the biggest compliment to Frozen you're gonna get the whole video. Love this, this is great. How Far I'll Go, a good I Want song. The vocals really carry it, very pretty, and it's not bad at all. It's actually really good. Um, so good job, Moana. In Summer, Charming, probably my favorite song in the whole movie, though I think Central Park plays a part in that. I like Josh Gad's singing voice more than most people thanks to that show. Uh, but yeah, it's pretty cute and pretty funny. I like it, not too shabby. And just gonna smooth right into it. Same goes for When I'm Older, which is next up. It's about on par with the other Olaf song. I just kind of prefer the tune of this one, and I think it's a bit funnier. Though, honestly, you can switch these two whenever. I do not care. They're about the same. What else can I do? Admittedly, not a genre I like at all, which is why it's so impressive that I actually like this song a lot. I mostly enjoy it for the character stuff happening during the song, but like, you know, it, it, it's, it's still good. It's just that it's really important from a character perspective, and that makes me invested in the story going on at the same time. It's a big plot moment, so yeah, and the song's actually good, despite me not liking the genre, so uh, good job. <laughs> also, just uh, really worth mentioning real quick that like the animation during the scene goes off the chain. It looks so good, whoa. <laughs> Some things never change. Low-key, my favorite song in either Frozen movie. It's really catchy, and I dig that every character gets a role in the song. It's a great one, honestly. Sets up all the plot lines throughout the movie really well, even if I don't necessarily like those plot lines very much. It's still a great musical song, and it feels very classic Disney. I really, really like it. There is a Frozen song ranked higher, but for the record, this is the best proper musical number in the Frozen series. I am Moana, a killer power number and a perfect character arc rap moment. It's so good, I really like it, but I don't have much else to say. It's just, it's good from a story and vocal perspective. Good job. The Family Madrigal. So much character in this song. Mirabella is one of my absolute favorite Disney protagonists ever, and her personality is what drives this song. Even though the song is literally describing other characters, Mirabelle is easily the most memorable thanks to her little mannerisms and stuff. Y'all don't deserve her. So many clever foreshadowing moments too. Really, I dig it. It's great. We know the way. It just like, it sounds cool. It sounds so cool. Oh my gosh. It works really well as both Moana's awakening moment, in quotes, and as the ending of the movie. It's just, it's so good. I really dig it. Winnie the Pooh, higher than it probably should be. Just a really vibey remix of the song that defined my childhood. I like it a lot. Know Who You Are, best scene in the whole darn movie. As a song, though, it's just really good. <laughs> Dos Orojitas is kind of similar to Know Who You Are, because I feel similarly. It is the best sequence of the film, and I actually like it more than the Moana one, so... There you go. But as a song, it's just really good. I like it more though, so it ranks above, but it has a similar thing. Anyway, I actually want to give my stance on the mildly controversial Encanto ending. I think it works wonders mostly because Alma is the one who apologizes, like, profusely. She doesn't try to justify her villainous actions throughout the rest of the movie, and the tragic backstory we learn isn't used to justify them. That's the key. It helps us understand them, not justify them. So yeah, I think it works really well. Yeah, I love this movie. <laughs>
where you are. Oh my lord, it's like a musical number with personality. You don't understand. I had to go through the Frozen soundtrack and then the two generic songs from Big Hero 6 and Zootopia. My lord, this is like a Disney musical number. It's so good. Oh wow, I missed these. Shiny, I guess it counts as a villain song, kinda, eh. I don't really count it among the other ones personally, cause like, this song really is all there is to the character, which is not a problem for the movie, but it's hard to count alongside songs from the main antagonists we come to know and love throughout the entire movie. It is really good though, lots of clever wordplay, it's fun, it's got a sinister vibe, I do like it a lot, it's just kinda hard to compare it to like, you know, be prepared or something. Lost in the Woods. Yeah, so this is my favorite song in the Frozen series, but it's not a great musical number. It's a boy band parody, and boy band parodies are just really funny to me. This is fantastic. It's funny. I wish more female Disney characters were allowed to have really kooky, goofy songs in these movies, because, like, those are the songs I more naturally gravitate to, and I'm sure I'm not the only one like that. It is a shame, but... It's also, I mean, it's good, so there you go. Down in New Orleans, what an opener. A great start to one of my favorite Disney soundtracks. Just perfectly gets you in the headspace for the kind of movie you're about to watch. It's wonderful. And following that, Down in New Orleans Reprise. What an ending! A great end to one of my favorite Disney soundtracks of all time. I think this movie is the one that made me love musicals. Waiting on a Miracle, such a fantastic take on a traditional I Want song, because unlike those songs, which are typically very inspiring and following your dreamsies, this one's just kind of sad. Like, my goodness, Mirabelle is sad. And also, might have my favorite vocals out of any Disney protagonist besides Tiana. She sounds so good. It's so expressive, a vocal performance, and kudos to Stephanie Beatrice, she did great. Love this movie, and this song is so good. Little Wonders, golly is it so sweet. What an ending to such an underrated gem of a film. Makes me cry. You're welcome, what a fantastic character number. I love that Maui is the twist villain exclusively in this song. The animation's great, it's catchy, what more could you want? At all costs, so here's my single greatest shame, I guess. I freaking love At All Costs from Wish. I don't know why, something about it just stuck with me. I can't explain it properly. I love how pleasant it sounds. It's such a unique atmosphere for the villain singing, and Asha's vocals are really good here, and the lyrics aren't bad at all, dare I say? They're good! The vibes play a huge part in it. And I know it was initially written as a love song between Asha and the star boy who no longer exists, but like, I don't know, I think it still works in the film. It just serves a different purpose is all. It's a legit, clever reuse, and it works pretty well. And it just sounds good, so I'm glad it wasn't lost to time. I like it. Favorite song in the movie, and it's obviously not even close. Perfect world, fun as heck. I love The Emperor's New Groove, and my biggest issue with it is that it absolutely should have been a musical. It would have fit so well. But I will take the musical number we got because it is so, so good. <laughs> we have a couple honorable mentions to get to later, but I guess I'll just do one of them now instead of waiting. So Yzma had a villain song in the original version of this movie, Kingdom of the Sun. Uh, snuff out the light. Honorable mention for that because it's fantastic and golly gee do I wish it stayed in some capacity. Like, go listen to it. It might be my favorite Disney villain song of all time. We don't talk about Bruno. So, it kind of has that let it go effect where now I've just heard it so much that I'm a bit tired of it. However, Unlike Let It Go, I completely understand the hype with this song. Every character gets their moment, each one is distinct and memorable, the lyrics are all snappy and clever, I love that it's a villain song where other characters are pushing a false narrative that makes someone else look like a villain. It's real good stuff, and the perfect build-up to the film's best character. Besides Mariano, obviously, as I mentioned, he is weirdly based. I just have so much love inside. Surface pressure. Man, I just love so much about what this does. It's a little less musical theatery sounding, but like, it really works for me in spite of that, because it gets the character right. Luisa is so memorable thanks to this song, and golly, it is catchy as heck. That hook. Whew, that's some good stuff. 
The lyrics are clever, it's a great exploration of the character's struggle, just fantastic. My favorite song in the movie. Hawaiian Roller Coaster Ride. Such a vibe, and stylistically so potent for the type of film it's in. This scene is one of my favorites in all of Disney, and it will always stay that way, probably. Also, also it's the spooky, spooky 13th, 13th place. place, ooh, number 13, ooh, there's 12, 12 more, more after, after this, this one. one, 12, 12 songs, songs. Ooh, ooh, we're almost, almost done, done. yay! Yeah. Hey guys! When we're human is so dang fun. Each character gets their personality showcased perfectly. The vocals are fantastic. Love it. Love this movie. Good lord. It's so good. This is just human again, but better. And I already liked human again, so there you go. Also, sexy butterflies. When will my life begin? Doubles as a great opening number and a great I want song. Maybe the best character establishment they've ever done in one of these movies. A lot of real funny moments combined with a subtle sadness, it's really great. I need to rewatch Tangled, I've discovered. Like, it, 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 it's really got a lot of clever stuff in there. Anyway, good stuff. I'm still here, Jim's theme in brackets. Emotional and stunning, an absolute highlight of the film, and I like this movie a lot, but this moment, this montage is so good, and it's thanks to this really solid, great song. It makes me very happy and sad. The intended effect is sad. Dig a little deeper. Such a dang fun number. Golly gee whiz. Oh man, the animation is so good. Mama Odie's vocals are super fun. Love it. Just g good. Yeah. I've got a dream. This might be the most fun musical number they have ever done. It is just so funny and memorable. I love it so much. All the bandits, all the, the thugs and ruffians, they get like these these super funny verses. It's it's so good and iconic. I, I feel like everyone knows this song in some capacity. It's really good. Again, need to rewatch Tangled because this is comedy gold. Almost there. Might be my favorite Disney I Want song of all time. Like, good lord, it's peak. It's peak. The animation's fantastic. The vocals are great. Obviously, Tiana has my favorite vocals of any Disney princess in general. Just, mm, so good. I also love that unlike most the uh, I Want songs throughout Disney, this one is later, like, deconstructed to be kind of like not what he actually needs. It's fun, I like that, it's a good twist on it. Okay, we're at the top five, so that means it's time for the honorable mention besides Snuff Out the Light, which I already talked about. So, get this right. This is a song deleted from Frozen 2, a movie I obviously don't like much, but I would have liked it significantly more if this song was allowed to say. Holy crap, this is the cutest song of like a, a Disney couple. I think we ever got. It's so adorable. <laughs> it's super fun and frantic and it's just great. Go listen to it. It makes Kristoff and Anna as a couple way more likable than they are because they just aren't memorable in the slightest as is. So um, yes. We'll never forgive Disney for cutting it. Anyway, where is your heart at? Such a banger. Oh my gosh, it's so good. And you can't even hear it in its entirety in the film and it's like the one time I'm gonna let a credits thing slide because it was in the movie too. So, there you go. So good. Just ludicrously good. Go listen to it. Friends on the Other Side, the last fantastic villain song we ever got. And my favorite in Disney's whole catalog, unless we count Snuff Out of Light, I guess. It's great. Just really good. Subtle foreshadowing followed by subtle manipulation. The vocals are great. Keith David's killing it. Love it. I see the light. Unbelievably pretty and sweet. Genuinely infuriating we haven't gotten a love song since this. I mean, we would have if they made Get This Right happen in the movie, but what the heck ever, I guess. I still love it, though. I feel like everyone loves it. It's probably the most iconic scene in any of Disney's modern movies, aside from Let It Go, maybe? I feel like this one is more talked about, though, so there. Oh, I accidentally miscalculated. This is the top six. Bum, bum, bum. One little slip. What gives you the right? <laughs> what, what gives you the right to be this good a song? Chicken Little. Like, who who gave you that permission to do that? I sure didn't. But, yeah. One Little Slip really is that good. Huh. Mabel Evangeline. Unbelievably sweet, and it just, it makes me feel things. I love it. It is my favorite scene in Princess and the Frog, and wow. Yeah. I see a lot of people debating if Ray is a good character, if he should have even been in the movie, but like, he had to be. For this at least. And in first place, my favorite song of this whole era, and my favorite song in the entire Disney pantheon, Another Believer from Meet the Robinsons. Maybe cheating, it's not a musical number, 
that's actually why I decided to go outside of just musical numbers, because I knew I needed this song to be first. Mabel Evangeline would have been a good first place, don't get me wrong, it's great. But, wow, Another Believer is different, okay? It's just different. It's a perfect song. It perfectly encapsulates Lewis's character struggle. It's so good, and such a good scene, and I love everything about it, so... There you go. That's my first place. So that's it, I guess. That's the Disney post-Renaissance song rankings. Sorry this video took so long. I know that you're probably, most people are not gonna agree with my ranking of these songs. And that's okay. I'm pretty used to that by now. <laughs> but yeah, um, I don't know when the next video is gonna be exactly because we do have a lot of, uh, you know, stuff going on, and, and like, this is unscripted now, so you're probably gonna be seeing Pikmin footage. Um, yeah, I think we got stuff going on. I'm applying for jobs. Life be going on. But it's fine. I'm still gonna do YouTube. Just expect a lot more unscripted videos, because those are really fast and easy to make. I'll cover all the news. I'll review Moana 2 when it comes out, and that'll, might, yeah, so... There's still gonna be videos, obviously, that are fully edited and nice and professional, but this is the last one for a bit, probably. We'll see. Anyway, so, thank you all for watching, and I hope you have an amazing day. Also, uh, real quick, comment, and, like, that that's what keeps the video living in the algorithm. That was the proof of the Central Park video. That video did so well because so many people commented and it exposed it more. It, it did super well. Please comment. I don't even care if it's negative. It works. So you just, just do it, please. Thank you.